Hey everybody, this is Rideshare Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful day. All my videos have been at night because, well, I work the graveyard shift, so I guess that's the best time to make a video, right? But I'm just getting out of work, and I just had to do I I just had to do a video that was during the day because, you know, the lights and everything else. But um. Actually, the reason why I'm making the video is because in my feed uh, a few days ago, I got the survey from, um, it's a channel name, it's called Ask CB, S E B B Y. And he put out a question if you use Uber Eats, DoorDash, or Grubhub, what is your average tip? Now, it's amazing. I thought the average tip would be 15 to 20% because that's just an average tip. But he had over 7.8 thousand votes when it came to my feed. And 40% of the people who responded actually said that they tip 5 to 10%. And I couldn't believe it. But once I was reading the comments, I kind of understood you know, a lot of them say by the time that they pay for their food, they pay for the fees that the um, the companies impose on them, that's all they have left. So, I mean, I can understand, but I can also understand that, you know, we work hard, you know, we're using our red bags and we're being polite and we're keeping the customers up to date on their food, especially if um, something's going on and we can't make a delivery or something changes and we need to get a hold of the customer to um, fix the order. There's been so much talk and so much controversy right now on why aren't customers tipping? You know, is that. Um, it's because of the way they were mistreated before. It's because of the videos that we've been watching lately, you know, where dashers have been doing some pretty nasty things, you know, pooping in a trash can in a, an apartment building. The kid who dropped the pizza on the uh, stairs as he was going up the stairs, dropped the pizza and then put the pizza back in the box, act like nothing ever happened. I mean, yeah, these are factors, but the main reason that I, when I was reading the comments was because of the fees. One of the comments was, is there any um, company, they were actually asking, is there any one of these companies that actually hide tips? So now customers are becoming aware of the fact that these companies are transparent with the delivery driver customers I should say are actually concerned they're they hear so much stuff things that are going on in TikTok and things that are being said on YouTube you know it makes people now start to wonder so maybe you know things will change I don't think in the near future because of the fees the high fees that these companies charge but I think people will start to start to change a little bit you know um, hopefully you know they'll be tipping pre-delivery so that way their orders don't be sitting down at the restaurant you know for an hour or two because the customer plans on tipping when you get there but then because they didn't leave a tip on the app their food sits and that, I think that's just the saddest thing because there's a lot of people who have told me that they um, actually, they tip afterwards. But with social distancing and everybody saying, leave the food at my door, it's really hard for them to see the service because I'm picking up the order, dropping it off, taking a picture of it, and then I'm leaving. So they don't even talk to me. I mean, the most that they talk to me is if I call them up to let them know that, you know, I'm Lisa with DoorDash or Uber Eats or whatever, and I'm here with your order. I'm going to leave his link in my description below. He's not um, 
a gig channel. He's not a rideshare channel. He's actually just a finance channel who just happened to ask this question because of all the controversy going on. So definitely check him out. Um, usually when people do surveys like this, there's also another video that comes later. So this will be exciting to see. But if you want to scroll through the comments, I, I think I looked at it again last night. And over 12,000 people have voted now. And he has over 200, like 258 comments. So there's a lot of comments to read, but it's, it's worth looking through to see what they think. But I just wanted to shoot this quick video why it wasn't snowing. It's beautiful. It's sunny out. God, it's amazing. I'm off for the next two days, so I'm going to go out, hopefully, and get some dashing done and do some Uber Eats and, you know, do some gig work because I've been working a lot at my regular job, so I really haven't done much gig work, which means that's why I haven't done any videos. But this was pretty interesting, this coming to uh, my feed like that. You know, I'd like to see more comments and questions like that and see what people besides gig workers think about what's going on so all right everybody you have a great day great night whenever you see my video and i will see you in the next video bye